Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the first introductory video on electronic file management, the solution designed by the JMore Connection Incorporated, the company that's engineering technology to grow your business. Uh, my name is John, I'm your host, and I'd like to welcome you and thank you for stopping by. Today we're going to just give you a brief overview of electronic file management solution and how it works. We're going to cover a few basic points today, how to register for a new account, um, we're going to show you how to check your email and uh, validate your email for that account. We're then going to show you how the administrator activates that account, how to upload some files, and um, move from right there. So pretty easy, uh, pretty simple. So let's go ahead and get started, okay? Let's click on the Register tab. You'll notice that all of the uh, areas here that have stars in front of them, or asterisks, are required fields and I must go ahead and fill those out um, or my form will not be submitted and my uh, process will not continue. I'll get a little message at the bottom in red saying that these fields are required. I'm going to go ahead and use the name Joe Blogs. I'm going to go ahead and just use Test USA as the company. Again, it's not required. Notice that as I type in my phone number, it automatically formats nice and easy. The email address I have here is just one we use different ones each time. Please don't send us correspondence to these email addresses. We don't check them, they're not monitored, and they do get deleted every once in a while, so um, there are always different ones being used, and we never really respond to them. Uh, the username, I'm going to go ahead and pick one right now, and I'm going to go ahead and pick a password right now. You'll notice that as I'm typing my password, the letters are hidden by these little dots, thus allowing me to uh, hide what it is I'm typing. Now you also notice, ladies and gentlemen, that below here there are uh, there's an area here that asks you for uh, three security questions that you need to choose. Now that's decided on by the administrator. They may decide to have you use security questions, and they'll decide how many you will have. They will also decide how many you'll be prompted for when you need to actually reset a password or validate yourself. So. If I don't use security questions, then this would not appear here, and I would just click a link to reset my password. Let's go ahead now and choose this first one here. What is your college mascot? I'm just going to go ahead and type, my college mascot is an elephant. <laughs> uh, an elephant never forgets anything, so I'm just going to put elephant there, okay? Uh, has to, the answer has to be at least five characters or more, or the answer is not considered valid. Uh, what dorm did I live in as a senior? Again, making sure that I am putting the cursor on the answer field. Uh, the dorm I lived in as a senior was actually one called, I'm just going to call it Dorm A. What was your roommate's name in college? Okay, well, I'm just going to call him um, Roommate. How about that? <laughs> All right, so now you're going to notice this little, uh, almost hard to read down here. And this is done on purpose because we want to make sure that you're not a bot or some process on the web that's actually trying to fill out this form and register for an account. So we can click Get Another Captcha, and you can see it's a little easy to read. You can click it again. Okay, you can see how I can keep doing that all day long, and maybe you'll get one that's a little easier to read. Uh, this one is W-H-O-W-O-D-E-D. -E now, before I click Register, what I want you to notice is that there's also an option to do an audio capture. If I do an audio capture, it's not necessarily any easier than this visual capture. It's basically going to have interference and static between the words, again, making sure that you're not a bot and making it harder uh, so that we're actually making sure you're a human being. Now, there is another step. You need to go through and you need to validate the email that is sent to you, which will happen in just a couple seconds. I'm going to go ahead and click on that link, which I must do within 48 hours, or my profile will be deleted, thinking that my email is not valid. A lot of times people will register for an account and put bogus emails. Well, we want to make sure the email that you're actually clicking is an actual valid email. So I'm going to go ahead now and log in as the administrator. And I'm going to go ahead and notice that there's a user uh, pending, me, uh, pending my uh, attention to activate. I'm going to click on Joe Blogs. I'm going to click on Activate the Account right now. Uh, which will just take a second. Now, once the user's been activated, he or she will receive an email message automatically. Some of this other stuff we'll talk about later in the profile, but that's all I need to do to get a user uh, set up for the basic functions of electronic file management so they can uh, retrieve files uh, that are published or sent to them. Uh, and remember, you can send files to users that don't have an account. Uh, a person who has an account can actually log into their own public portal, which we'll show you in just a minute. I'm going to go to Manage Files here right now. 
uh, which you'll see I have document, then I have a manage file option right there. And what this is actually going to do is allow me to get to a specific area where I can go through and uh, pick um, drives, if you will, that I have information on. Now I'm on the main department, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder right now. The folder is just going to be called My Folder. How about that? And I'm going to click on Save, and you'll see that the folder is right under there. I'm going to click on My Folder. I'm going to click on the flash for the multi-upload flash. I'm going to go to my drive, which I've set up previously ahead of time in files. And I'm going to choose all three files that I've uploaded, sales, expense, and quick reference guide. Quicker than you can say the word done, <laughs> the files have been done and been published, uh, have been uploaded. Excuse me, they haven't been published yet. I have to do that next. So under my area that I created called my folder, let's go ahead and publish the expense report, shall we? Uh, to um, Mr. Joe Bloggs. So we'll click on Joe Bloggs and let's go ahead and set this up so that uh, Joe Bloggs is the one. I'll click on his name once I've typed it there. I'll go ahead and click on the word publish and in just a couple seconds I'm going to be receiving another email message. The email message is going to come in. I'm actually going to receive two. The first one on the bottom shows me that my account indeed was activated. I don't have to do anything. And the next email message it's going to send me is going to say, hey, you've basically got files in your portal to download. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Uh, I'm just going to log out. I haven't logged out yet. Let me log in. And I'm going to log in with the tester account, right? Tester. So I'll go ahead and put in my password. And I'm logged in. I'll go to Documents. I'll go to Library. And portal there. There's my own portal. I'm going to go to where it says uh, Registration. Uh, an expense report right there. So again, I can click right on that, and when I click on it, now here's another neat thing. If I come back here and I click again, notice that there's no more. I only gave them one particular um, time to download that. The My Account areas where you can access other information about your account, change your password, edit personal information, edit your security questions, and enable the help that you have access to as well as uh, your notification settings. So basically, this is a wrap-up of electronic file management. It is our very first demonstration, just to give you a very basic idea of it. I do want to thank you for stopping by today and uh, taking a look at this very first introductory video on how easy it is to register a user and uh, to publish and retrieve files. Again, my name is John, your host. I invite you to stop by again and see some of the many other features that we have, as well as we're open to your thoughts, comments, and feedback uh, so that we can keep making the electronic file management solution an even better one than it is today. Thanks again for your time and have a wonderful day.